Following some other big stories tonight, including Mayor Adams heading to Washington, D.C. to ask for more money and resources for migrants. Also in D.C. tonight, indicted rookie Congressman George Santos from Long Island tonight, avoiding getting expelled. But his troubles aren't over yet. No, no. He's still under investigation. Shantae Lands live in Washington with the latest. Shantae. Well, Bill and Shade, Congressman George Santos says that he is relieved. He said he's thankful that that House resolution to expel him failed. The motion is not adopted. In battle, Long Island Congressman George Santos survives a second attempt to expel him from Congress. You are relieved tonight. I'm not relieved for myself. I'm relieved that there's still due process. It's still accepted in this country that people still believe in the rule of law. And a final vote of 179 yeses and 213 noes. Santos gets to keep his Queens and Long Island District 3 seat. The resolution is not adopted. This after pleading not guilty to a 23 count indictment involving wire fraud, stealing public funds and lying on financial disclosures. Tonight, victory for the freshman Republican rep. Are you prepared to leave if you were to be expelled One hundred percent. I've made that very clear. I wasn't going to fight it. This, if, if this was the will that the body wanted, although I disagreed with it, I was ready to leave. As Long Island Republican colleagues, Congressman Anthony D'Esposito and Nick LaLota brought forth the resolution to expel Santos. Were you feeling defeated at all when you saw that it did not pass? I, I wouldn't say defeated. I think, you know, disappointed, obviously. But uh, I think, like uh, Mr. LaLota said, we, we established a good base. We had great conversations. And both D'Esposito and LaLota spoke on the House floor before the vote about why Santos should be ousted. Santos was able to state his case. The failed resolution comes after the House Ethics Committee just revealed they'll announce their next steps for their investigation into Santos on or before November 19th. That's part of the process. I welcome it. We have to look forward and we have to find other opportunities to do what's right for New Yorkers. And what's right is that we expel George Santos and we're closer now than we've ever been. Now keep in mind, most Republicans voted to keep Congressman Santos in office. That's because the party holds a narrow majority in the House.